Hey guys, Jay here, and who's up for some PS5 rumors? And this one's coming from Reddit. And if this is indeed true, this is amazing with what Sony could pull off, but I'm not holding my hopes up because, again, it's an internet rumor. We don't know if the source is correct or not, and it's just bullshitting. So take it with a grain of salt. But before you get into that, please leave a like on the video as it really helps out the channel. Now with that little plug out of the way, let's get into these little details, shall we? So from what the trusted source says is that we're gonna have some exclusive titles for the PS5 launch, which we're gonna get a new Killzone title from Gorilla Games. Don't, if they don't know the actual subtitle to the game, it's been under wraps for a huge amount of time, so that's weird, but it'll have extra focus on multiplayer. Demon Souls will get a remake from Blue Point Games. It's a full remake of that said game. Despite having Miyazaki's blessing, the game is sure to be a source of debate for fans since Blue Point is taking artistic liberties and adding their own ideas. I know SOCOM fans will rejoice as SOCOM Reboot is in the works from Sony San Diego Studios. It was long rumored to be in development at Gorilla Games, but the game is being developed by ex Zipper Interactive employee Burnt Out MLB devs using the Decima engine. A lot of games are using the Decima engine for some reason. It almost has photorealistic graphics. From this part of the leak, it's kind of iffy because a lot of games are using the Decima engine, aside from Gorilla Games' own original games. So I don't know if they're just going to be using the Decima engine for early PS5 games, if at all, that they're going to have a new kill zone when the last one didn't do so well. I know it was a Shadowfall. It wasn't really good. I know I got it day one, played it a little bit, didn't really find it that interesting. I need to go back and beat it because I haven't like played it like realistically from beginning to end. And then supposedly Blue Point is going to be redoing Demon Souls. So there's that because we know that Blue Point has been teasing on Twitter that they are trying to get an IP to remake another one. And they've been giving out hints of what they should do. I know one was uh, The Legend of Dragoon that they kept trying to push out on Twitter to see if someone would give them the rights to actually do it. It'd be pretty cool if they could but next is Gran Turismo 7 and it's going to be supported for 10 years because supposedly it's been in development since 2014 and after that we're going to get a new Ratchet and Clank from Insomniac it's the start of a new trilogy and a sequel to the future series and it'll return with more space exploration hover boots and competitive multiplayer which could be free to play but it's still being decided. A new multiplayer game called Project Vanguard from Remedy Entertainment. Sony is planning to acquire the uh, acquire the development team based on the reception from this game and a few other variables. In terms of this game, we think of it as a cross between Control, Star Trek, and the film Gravity. Uh, uh, I, we've been hearing rumors that PlayStation 5 key features is what we are really looking at. You will supposedly will have the ability to have three games and multiple media functions suspended while you play the fourth game the ability to have different states of the game running at the same time so basically like if you're playing one game and it's the beginning you suspend it boot up another game and you're midway through the story and then you suspend that and then you go to another game boot that up and you're at the ending of the game and once you beat that you can go back to the second one or the first one and continue playing which is really cool and then the next one is in the cloud with cloud services you can have as many games suspended as you like you can use the cloud to resume a game on your console after many months of playing other games exactly where you left off or of course any other platform through the cloud the game saved data screenshots and video clips can now be offloaded to the cloud to free up hard drive space yeah that's pretty cool if you don't have enough space on your hard drive from the get-go and you don't feel like transferring everything to a thumb drive or an external hard drive you can just offload it to the cloud with your external saves and save it that way. Next one is you'll have reverse amounts of data and statistics for you to view your games and platform use. So I think this is like what Nintendo Switch has where you can have a basic summary of what you've been playing. Like if they have, if you've been playing The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild, I know I checked it, I've had like 75 hours total playing time, playing that game, stuff like that. Just really, you know, interesting statistics if you're into that kind of stuff to see what your playing habits are. And this is a big one right here. You'll have backwards compatibility for all PlayStation platforms or formats. So you'll have PlayStation 1, PlayStation 2, PlayStation 3, and of course PlayStation 4 games at your disposal. If it plays out like what Xbox does, then they'll try and get the licensing for all games that they can get where you could just put the disc in and you'll be able to download a digital version 
from the store to your hard drive. And not all games are probably going to be supported. Most likely, it's going to be first party games that they have access to immediately, and they'll try and spread out the second party and third party games like Xbox is doing. But if this happens, then by gosh, they hit that out of the park. I wouldn't need my PS3 anymore for my PS3 or PS2 games to record or PS1 games to record. I can just have everything on my PS5 and put everything else away. I can have everything on one system, which is amazing. So that's the one thing I really want is hopefully that this quote unquote leak from Reddit is true and we have true backwards compatibility with all formats from PS1 to PS5. What are you guys' thoughts in the comments below? Do you think this is all a crack of shit or is this 100% true 25 percent true 50 percent true or what are some of the ideas or key features from this list that you would really want in the playstation 5 be it the backwards compatibility being able to spend up to being able to suspend up to three games and go back and forth between play sessions without having to switch this or what kind of games are you really hoping for day one to play catch you guys next time if you like what you see or hear why not subscribe <laughs>